And I've just noticed I'm practically sitting on fungus here. There you go. That's on my lawn. That's the fruit of the organism. The main organism might stretch for 300 square meters across my lawn. That's just the fruit. And I've no idea whether this one is edible. The fungus that you're going to see here is actually the fruit of the main organism. The main organism is inside that tree. That's where it lives. Puts fruits up at various times of the year, and that's what we're taking. So don't get worked up about that, please. On my way back from somebody's house a few nights ago, I spotted a gigantic fungus growing out of a tree. So me and Colin went back today, and this is what we found. Need knife? Yep. Never seen one as big as that, like. Ah. Have you seen one that size? No. <laughs> That's massive, that, like. I'll dry it out and stick it on your wall like a trophy. <laughs> awesome. And I said it was as thick as your arm. It's, it's thicker than, than a normal arm, isn't it? Bloody hell. Absolutely amazing. It's starting to age a bit, isn't it? It's going warm like. It is aged on underneath, but that adds to it like uh -huh. it's a lovely colour. Mm. And that's beautiful as well. Yeah. Almost like the top of a chestnut, portobello, like a portobello mushroom, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like really leathery. Oh. Now, when I was coming back from dropping Colin off at home, I got a text from him confirming that it was something called a Dryad's Saddle. So I'll put a link to that particular fungi in the video description. It's certainly the biggest fungus that I've ever seen in the UK, and it was the biggest one he'd seen as well of that particular type. We've both seen really big, heavy puffballs, but from a, a kind of like a standard mushroom or toadstool sort of design, that one was an absolute monster. Hope you've enjoyed watching that. Catch you in the next video.